I am Shannon. I'm 39. I have four children. I'm Matt. I'm 14 years old, and Shannon is my mom. I'm Brooke, and I'm 13 years old, and my mom is Shannon. Next is Dakota, and he is 11. And there's Sierra. She's nine. I wouldn't want people to judge me and say, you know, you're a disgusting person for the way you live. But as the way I keep my home, yeah, it's, it's not right. When we first got the house, it was pretty clean and decent. And then over the years, it's just been forgotten. Things have just gotten out of hand. We've got too many things, too many animals. It's just gotten out of hand. My name is Rhonda and I am Shannon's youngest sister. Shannon has been going slowly downhill in her attempts to clean it up or to care if anything was done around the house. It just seems the last year or two she's just completely given up. And that's what concerned me. She just doesn't care anymore. I would stay at friends' houses for two or three days to just escape from home and be in a cleaner environment. My room out in the shed was a little more difficult to keep clean. I asked for help to clean it because it was very dirty before I moved in there, and nobody would really help me. I can't clean up everything in there. I'm Tim. I'm Shannon's husband. We've been married for 15 years. A lot of times within hours of the paycheck hitting the bank, we've no more money. My mom, she likes money and she'll go out and get us something new every time she goes to the store. I would call my mom a hoarder, yeah. She will hoard anything she can pay for. I love the dogs. My dog. Scout, we've had him since I was born. I remember playing with him as a kid, and he's just my favorite dog. The animal thing was kind of a, you know, big signal there that she was getting way over her head with the animal feces and everything everywhere. Your kids shouldn't be in that. You know, who lets their house get like that? It's just not right. You, you don't do that. And knowing that I had to do something about it and looking at the mess around me and wondering, how am I going to do it? I can't do this. I can't. It was surreal, really, that it was actually happening. As much as you think it might happen, to actually see it happen was really hard. So when CPS knocked on that door, it was just a very, very crazy, crazy day. It was absolutely devastating. I was angry. Just can't explain how angry and hurt that I was that this had happened. I don't know what exactly happened inside, but my mom was talking to the cop or whatever, and he said something. And I don't think we should deserve to be getting in way. <laughs> I knew it would only be a matter of time for CPS came out. And if they came out and saw it like that, this is what was gonna happen. You know, I didn't feel that they had the right to come in here and tell me, oh, your house is not appropriate for children. You know, they're not their children, they're, they're mine. Right now I'm faced with trying to get the kids to come home. Hey, 
Shannon. Well, can we come in and take a look and maybe show us around a little bit? And we'll, we'll just talk. We'll, we'll take it easy and, and see what we need to come do to get you some help, okay? okay? The amount of animals she had here wasn't near as many as we found in, in other cases, but uh, I can tell you that within the last several weeks, she had a about 20 more additional cats that she had placed elsewhere. So this is a really typical scenario for what we see for people that hoard animals. Let's get your priorities straight. Right. We got to get children. your kids back. Your priority should right. be your kids. Right. right. It's got to be a lot of work for you between kids and animals and expensive. So you wanted to see the other ones? Yeah, if you could. Okay. I'll let okay. you lead the way. Then we have one mama in here. The living conditions in which the animals are in are not ideal. They're certainly not ideal for people to live in either. You're not going to take all of them today, are you? Let's get through this. And, you know, okay. see what you're thinking, and and we'll we'll come up with a plan. Okay. okay. He's got huge infection. <clears throat> okay. It needs something because otherwise, what happens is the bugs take over. We'll probably go ahead and take him in and put him down. If you want to have that done, we can take him today and help facilitate that. Okay. I want to be there. there. I just don't want him to be alone because. Mm -hmm. We realize he's getting really old. It's going to be hard to put him down, but he's a good dog, and I just hope he, he goes peacefully. So we've been, we talked about Rascal, Princess, Maggie. Moose, and then the cats. Yeah. You can keep five. But let me ask you this. Do you really need five? We're trying to get you focused on getting your kids Gets back. back. And you're not gonna See, you're not gonna get everything under control if you have a house full of critters still. As traumatic as it was losing the children, I know where they're at. I know that they get to come home eventually. I don't with the dogs. I'll never see them again. Well, let me start calling some of the rescues. Okay. And and we'll okay. get a plan from there, okay? Can I go back in the house now. <laughs> I have to get rid of some of my animals because I have too many. I don't like it. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> and I don't know who to choose because I love them all. <laughs> but I'm sorry. All right, good morning. Good morning. The weather is holding out. Fingers Beautiful. crossed. You may notice we've got a bunch of guys here to help you clean out your home. <laughs> I am Matt Paxton, a hoarding cleanup specialist. We just want to make sure, make it very clear, what is our goal today? Goal is to clean up the house so we can get the kids home. Okay, plain and simple. We're cleaning out the house. We want the kids back. Yes. So we need to go. We're going to get okayed out here, okay. verify everything, and then we're going to go inside and do quick a quick sweep of everything that's automatic trash. Okay. I think by lunch, believe it or not, we will probably have 30 to 40 percent of this house cleaned out already. Yay. That first three hours. We want her to see the, the immediate benefit of okay. cleaning. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. All right, outside, pretty simple. If it's on the ground, it's trash. Let's go. This house you walk in, you think, oh, this isn't that bad. I, we can knock this out in a day. This is going to be pretty easy, especially because most of this house is trash. But as you start to kind of get into the home and you talk to her more, uh, we call it an iceberg. It, it's what's below the water. It's what's really scary. How did your mom run her house? She didn't really run it. No? I don't remember her running it. Uh -huh. I'm Suzanne Chabot. I'm a clinical psychologist who specializes in OCD, including hoarding. Cleaning this house? We can clean it. There's a lot of dog feces. There's a lot of cat feces. There's, there's horrible, gross things in the home, but volume-wise, it's just not that bad. But the house itself, physically, is destroyed. I mean, this house will not pass an inspection. Because of the hoarding, the home's gotten this bad. And because of the hoarding, they're not going to have the income or uh, the ability, mentally, to fix this problem. When I first walked in, I felt amazed. It was just like, at a new house, I thought, this cannot be my bedroom. <laughs> it was so clean. I like my new bed. It's very comfortable. I think my parents did a good job, and they're great parents. When I walked in the house, I was just amazed. 
I went from being nervous to a, just a big smile. I think we got an amazing amount of stuff accomplished. It didn't get all finished, but it's 99% done, and I think I can finish the 1% on my own. I think I'm motivated enough to do that. I saw some very positive things happen in the family. These are people who are really committed. They just don't know how to do the job yet. I got a call about Scout. Turns out he is not as sick as they thought, and they were able to, to get him some medical attention. And they're actually going to keep him there, and he's going to get to live out his days oh, in a very awesome. healthy way. Hearing about Scout made me tear up. I'm just so glad I didn't have to have him put down. The news about Scout just made me feel the best I could be, and I hope he's happy where he is. Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.